Our community is home to a thriving variety of arts and culture. Our goal at Green River College Foundation's Interurban Center for the Arts is to bring arts education into the lives of our local youth. What I love about teaching art, especially to children, even adults, that they can find a confidence to use their own creativity. Often kids say, is this okay? Is this, can I put this here? Can I, and they're taught to stay within so tight of bonds that they forget that they, you can be free when it comes to creativity and everyone's a creator, whether it's technical things, whether it's paint or building or doodling, Everyone's a creator, no matter if you think you are or not. So I think it's fun to teach children that. Looking back at my history and kind of having adults say, yeah, an artist is never going to make it and maybe you shouldn't pursue um, a career. Kind of breaking that, that mythology of an artist, a struggling artist and encouraging kids to be creative. I can really see it the most when I see the room go completely silent. Everybody's just engrossed in, uh, in their project, engrossed in the details. And so, yeah, when you see that many people focusing that intently on their project, it's, it's inspiring in a way. There, there's something that we each have that's individual and unique that we can share with the world. And I love to light that up in children and see them realize that it's there inside them. I love it when the children, they see me coming. I'm not even in the room yet, but they can see me through the window and it just spreads like a ripple. Oh, she's here. And they're so excited that it's art day. I love that even the children who feel like they don't have a ton to contribute in school, right? The kids who you can tell are struggling. Uh, they're having trouble at home. They're having trouble with their grades. They're having trouble in a lot of different ways. When I walk into that room, I can help them come alive and let all those worries go for just one hour. You know, my students are have special needs, but they have special abilities that need to be enhanced. Releasing that creativity is using new media, learning about new artists that they have not been exposed to. They're always looking forward to art uh, in the classroom. So that's, that's enough satisfaction for me to come back. Being in front of the classroom is a big step out of my comfort zone. And so, you know, there are days when I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I know what I'm doing, I'm making a difference. And, but um, I happen to have a friend who is a kindergarten teacher in the Kent School District. And she posted this one day, the things we keep around the house weren't the test scores or worksheets. We kept the kids' artwork. And this really spoke to me that day as I was struggling to, to get out there, out of my comfort zone, and to realize that I'm doing this for working parents who may not have the time to do art with their kids, for them to be able to bring home this portfolio of the work they've done all year and perhaps hang it up for the next 20 years is a great feeling. The ICA envisions all children creating art in every classroom, in every school. With your help, we can accomplish this. Please consider giving the gift of art to the children in our schools.